Hello and welcome to this virtual session revealing timing pitfalls in Microsoft Classic projects. My name is Christoph Stuhl and I'm a software development engineer at Vector working at the integrator side and dealing with coachings and trainings. First, let me have a short introduction um, for you. As a chemist, I prepared over nearly 100 substances in my life. And a simple question to you is, would you eat an unknown substance to you? It's a colorless powder and you don't know any side effect of it. I guess, hopefully not. So let me give you a short introduction as scientists, how we apply a methodology of compound analysis to get any idea out of it. So as level one, we can use simple methods. For example, we could put it on a scale or watch it with our eyes. And then we would get information like it's 320 grams, it's solid, it's colorless provided. But this does not really have an impact on our decision whether we take it or we don't take the substance. So let's apply some cool scientific methods um, to the substance, like we put it on a microscope and get other values like the density or the melting point out of it. Still, this has a less impact on our decision whether we eat it or we won't eat it. So let's get one level deeper in our kind of analysis and apply more cool science stuff. For example, we can x-ray it, apply radiation to it. And in the end, we are able to get out the molecule structure. In this example, we would figure out it's the compound acetyl salicylic acid, commonly known as aspirin. And you may eat that in your life already. So this has really now an impact and gives you trust um, if you eat such a substance or not. Let's switch back to the automotive industry. Let's imagine I am a software development engineer. I'm trying to sell this ECU to you. Imagine this could be any ECU on the market. So it could be a radar system, engine control, rooftop ECU, anything. The runtime on this ECU is unknown to you. Would you buy this kind of ECU to me uh, from my side? No, so let's apply the same uh, kind of analysis, but this time with a scope or focus on runtime and see what we can achieve out of it. So for the rest of this presentation, let's define a level one analysis where we're only investigating the CPU load. So together with the timing architect tool suite, we are able to tell you the statement then, okay, the CCU is a dual core system, you see it's have 14% um, CPU load on core zero and core one runs almost on 2%. Let's get again a level deeper and let's say we want to gain information out of this ECU about the OS scheduler and the task scheduling. So some of you are made familiar with the color code in here. Here you see a counter interrupt service routine and a synchronous and asynchronous basic software task. And orange in this case means this task is currently in the waiting state. Ready, this light green area means it's in the ready state um, to be executed. And the scheduler picks then the highest priority task at that point of time. First the synchronous task, then the asynchronous task and sets it in the running mode. Now let's get again one level deeper and go to level three. Let's say we are also interested with kinds of runnable is running in this example. So we apply the runnable analysis on it and we are also able to tell which function is running. In this example, you see first the COMM function, main function is running, then the STPM, the SECOC, and then the COM main function RX. And with that, we are able to um, tell you more about the runtime behavior of this ECU. By the way, this is only one out of five videos about timing pitfalls by Christoph. If you want to watch his full presentation, click the link in the description and you will find it there. If you want to know even more about timing topics, we have good news. We have the Vector Timing Day coming up on 5th of October. You will meet us in Stuttgart and we will have presentations about timing from design until verification over this whole day and you will learn how to avoid timing issues in your ECU projects. So click the link in the description, register for the timing day on 5th of October and I'm looking forward to meet you there.